Shalom. Uh, this is Brother Yagadala Amar from GMS Houston. Uh, we'll start, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace and blessings to the elect. And uh, just going to get straight into this, this, this madness, man. Uh, as you can see on the screen, man, this is a poster from Sakari, man, opening up a uh, so-called membership to Sakari Sisterhood, man. And this shit is so out of order and wicked, man. It, it, it's hard to even begin to know where to start, man. It's completely out of order and, and, and wicked, man. On so many levels, man, it, it can lead to nothing but confusion, adultery, and, and, and fucking wickedness, man. But uh, I'm gonna read this real quick, and I got a couple scriptures I was gonna go into and, and just and just be, get off of this shit, man. Cause it's really a shame that we gotta even touch on shit like this, man. I know, man, quite a few brothers already ran across it, man, and be fucking entertainment, but just. It just was on my spirit to just, just, just speak on this real quick, man, and let it be done. Because the most high gonna kill you niggas, man. And that's that's the only way I can put it, man. There's no co politically correct way to approach it, man. The most high is gonna kill you niggas, man. But uh, I'm gonna read this real quick, man. And uh, bring out these scriptures. And, and, and hey, man, death to you niggas, man, who, who, who's seeking to, uh, to be a part of this world or incorporate man you want to trim your ways to seek love man you want to appease to the women man and it's not about that man it's about waking up the elect so we can get the fuck out of here and nowhere does it say that we need to wake up a certain amount of sisters or start a sisterhood to get out of babylon man they gonna be saved through childbearing man i'm gonna read this it says over the years through the spirit and power of uh of Yahweh uh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, we had, we have built this camp from the ground up, man. And 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 just off top, man, I see you straight through that, man. You guys in your mind, so Carl, you at the top that you built this thing, your platform that you own, man. You not you you not as sincerely giving credit to the Most High that's saying. It says many of the precious daughters of Zion, man, have followed our teachings but we had never previously opened up membership to sisters officially man and this sound like some fucking edomite tactics man using smooth words trying to fucking uh, uh draw these women in man it says as of today we are opening opening membership to all women of israel if married this is in parentheses man this is fucking wicked and you know it, so you try to specify. It said, and it, it, it doesn't make it still out of order, man. It says, if married upon husband's approval and or membership, man. So first of all, you breaking the scriptures anyway, man, because you're not supposed to be dealing with another man's wife, man. That's up to him to, to, to teach his woman, not us, man. If a woman come out on the block, man, are we teaching the first thing that acts is if you got a man? Well, we not about to deal with you, man. Send him out here. We'll, we'll deal with him, and he can teach you, man. So, you, you first of all, you, you telling a woman to be out of order and go fucking get permission from her man. Like, that's going to cover it, man. No. To come to your school and look at you in a higher authority over to her husband, which is going to cause confusion in that man's house, man. This is a uh, first scripture I want to grab. This is First Corinthians fourteen and uh, thirty-four. It says, "Let your women keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience, as also saith the law." Reading on, it says, "And if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home." How simple is that, man? Let them ask their husbands at home. Do y'all have an official school? Where do y'all meet up at, man? So what's the situation where you think it's going to be righteous in any way for you to have another man's uh, wife dwelling amongst you, looking at you for understanding and wisdom, man? 
that's going to cause all type of confusion and it's going to lead to adultery, man. Because even if you niggas didn't jump on the opportunity, because eventually these, a goddamn woman is going to throw that, throw, throw that pussy at you, man. She going to be looking at a man like, man, fuck this nigga. Look, look what I got. I got me a so-called man of the Lord. And even if you don't act on it, that fucking thought gonna get in your head, man. Because you niggas are already full of demons, man. You commit the spiritual adultery on the Heavenly Father. You niggas are adulterous, man. You're a horn, man. You're not worshiping Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai. You niggas is worshiping Sakari. And Sakari, you worshiping yourself, man. You are a strong, a strong Roscoe Jenkins uh, uh, spirit, man. The team of me, man. That's why you so gung-ho about these debates and fellowshipping with these wicked-ass fucking niggas that don't even believe in the Most High, man. Now you're trying to incorporate women into your congregation, man. To what purpose, man? If they want to support, have them making garments, man, give alms or something. But if they especially, man, you emphasize on if they got husbands, man, because you know this is wicked, man. I'm going to read on. It says, for it is a shame for women to speak in the church, man. Because if they're going to learn something, they come into you to, to learn, uh, they're going to have to ask questions, man. So it's a shame for them to be uh, in, in, in your so-called church asking questions from another man, man. They're supposed to be learning in silence, man. Their husband is going to give them, give, give them the understanding, man. But no, you niggas gonna jump around that, man, because you wanna feel your own belly. Matter of fact, I'm gonna grab uh, the scripture of the brothers in uh, GMS Holland sit down and uh, post it, man. This is uh, Romans chapter 16. Romans 16 and 18. For they that are such serve not our Lord Yahweh Shai, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of simple, uh, so it's like it, uh, and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple, man. And that's what y'all doing with this, man. You deceiving the hearts of simple, because in a simple mind frame, oh, this is some real brothers, they trying to teach the sisters. No, that's fucking out of order and wicked, man. There's nothing good can come from incorporating women into the congregation. First of all, they're not women, man. If there was women, they wouldn't even be bothered with you niggas. They'd be at home serving their fucking husband, man. But you niggas trying to pull them from that to fucking uh, bring them to your school, man. Man, this is fucking ridiculous, man. I wasn't even fucking as mad as I am now. But now is this man, man, the spirit. I mean, I'm thinking more and more of the of the confusion that, that that comes from a woman being around, man. Fucking wicked ass niggas, man. What what, 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 what scripture did you read where it spoke about a sisterhood uh, being a part of the congregation, a sisterhood? Period, man. I was looking up different uh, variations like brotherhood, brethren. Man, every time you find in, uh, numbers up in the five hundreds. Uh, in the King James Version, man. But for uh, women, uh, I mean, sisterhood, man, and stuff like that, you don't see it, man. This is uh, Ezekiel chapter 30, 34 and 31. Uh, I'm going to start at 30. It says, thus, uh, thus shall they know that I, the Lord, their power am with them. And that they, even the house of Israel, are my people, said the Lord Power. And ye, my flock, the flock of my pasture, are men. And I am your God. Slacking them. I, I am your power, said the Lord. What's high, man? The flock of his pasture are men, man. The women are going to be saved through uh, childbearing. Nothing else, man. And that still comes with, uh, uh, with a certain uh, characteristics, man certain characteristics man there's no place for women amongst uh, the, the church man but for wicked niggas man 
and ain't no telling what you what your real intent is like uh brought out the scripture in romans 16 man you seeking to uh serve your own belly man because you're not serving your house by some your own shot man nowhere man the scriptures constantly let you know this is man the most high deals with men man why because a woman uh, uh deals with is full of emotion man she don't have no place dealing with these scriptures because she's not going to deal with logic and reality or true understanding man a woman, a woman the word feminine means lack of faith man they don't have enough faith to deal with this script the scriptures man because they're carnal beings man that's why uh eve uh, uh when you go into it man eve was the one that was uh deceived man man lord willing uh be able to bring that out uh, another precept to ezekiel this is a uh, revelation chapter 21 and three, it says, And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of Yahweh is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and Yahweh himself shall be with them and be their power, man. The Most High is not dealing with a sisterhood, man. Yes, you have certain sisters, but guess what? Where do, where do, where do you see them? Nowhere, man. Because they're in order and they just learning, man. Trying to learn, man. Wherever they may be. I ain't met one. They're not sitting there fellowshipping with brothers, having class, studying. No, man. This shit is so fucking out of order. It's ridiculous, man. I hate that I even got to speak on this shit, but I just couldn't. Man, hey, man. Spirit jumped on us, man. Just, Going to this real quick, man. But most I gonna kill you, niggas, man. There's no, 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 nothing else you can say to this, man. You, you would deserve death and destruction, man, for even attempting to create an atmosphere uh, like this, man. Taking a, a, a man's wife out of her his home to come learn from you, man, and gain respect in their eyes to you and your men. And look down on him, man, man, can you imagine the shit talking a woman will come home to to her man? Like you don't know shit, man. Look what I'm I'm learning from the great brothers of Sakari. This is a uh, last scripture I'm gonna get, man, and I'm gonna get off of this, man. This is uh first Timothy two and I'm gonna start at uh I'm gonna start at ten. But which becometh women professing godliness with good works, let women learn in silence with all subjection. And you can't keep a man, you put a woman in, 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 in the church, man. You can't keep a woman sh uh, quiet, man. She always gonna have something to fucking say, man. So you, especially in Babylon, man. You ain't gonna be able to keep no woman in there silent, asking question after question. And they're flirting with brothers, running their fucking mouth. Whispering rumors, man, let the fucking madness can come from this, man. But it says, But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. So, first of all, what's gonna happen once you start teaching these uh, uh, wives of other men, man? And I'm, I'm keying in on specifically that key part, man. Married women. When they learn it from you, what they gonna do? They gonna go home and start trying to teach their husband. So you create confusion and, and, uh, and, and, and a lack of order in another man's household by what the fuck you doing, man. I'm gonna read on to the point I want to get at. It says, for Adam was first formed, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression, man. So it's letting you know now, man. The woman is wicked, man. So like it, man. The, the, these bitches are wicked, man. And like the brother uh, Yashawan will put out that video, man. These women on, on, on the comment boards and on social media professing to be of Israel, stay far away from them, man. They're full of demons. They're pride. They're confused and horny. Stay the fuck away from them, man. So this is a wicked platform you're trying to create, man. Because a woman is the one that's going to cause deception, man. And draw other men to go off, man. You, man, you bringing death on top of death, man. Hey, with that, man, hey, fuck you niggas over there, man. 
and Sequoia, man. And I, I, I use, I try to, man, I've been working on my, 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 my so-called hard language, man. But, hey, man, this, this is ridiculous, man. Hey, man, hey, to the righteous brothers, continue doing what we doing, man. Hey, man, and, and stay away from these goddamn women that claim they are the truth because they're not in the truth, man. Hey, once again, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom.